everybody, I am Bebo, and today I am here with my friends from Seattle, and we're going to be playing some Happy Little Accidents, the board yes. game, uh, which is obviously a Bob Ross game. However, we also have a wonderful painter in the background over here, and we are even going to be monitoring this Twitch stream chat and maybe giving some input to what's being painted behind us as yes. we play Happy Little Accidents. <sighs> So I'll be live giving you giving Look at that technique. Input. Yeah. Oh Just starting right off the Bob. bat. Easily impressed. I like that. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Is... Did you get that? I, that was funny. <laughs> I could just stare, actually. Oh, yeah. No, okay, this is the, okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're lost. We're lost in the world of Bob Ross. I'm feeling... I feel like we're going to be channeling Bob during this game. Absolutely. Can you let us know when you start painting the happy little clouds? Like oh, when sure. they're okay. Okay. Or if you make a happy little accident, please I'll, speak I'll up. Yeah. <laughs> An accident <laughs> has occurred. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, the chat's saying there's no audio. That's a good thing. We were hilarious and they missed it. <laughs> <laughs> it is really compelling watching you, though. It's really beautiful. Are you, are you going to do a couple, you think? Or yeah. is it... Probably just the one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just don't know if it's, you know, if you're like, oh, yeah, I can do this in 20 minutes, or... You know. <laughs> Forced to. I mean. No, 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 no. I was just wondering. Forced. <laughs> Taking a little Prussian blue, is that... Yeah. That's just Thalo, actually. Oh, it's Thalo. Thalo blue. Okay. Thalo blue. Thalo blue. Wow. Oh, with some green mixed in there, so it's nice Happy and majestic. Oh. Okay, we are mesmerized. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. my gosh. This is why the Bob Ross Twitch channel is um, so incredibly popular. So oh, I see a reflection coming. Okay. How come Bob's sky is so light blue all the way down? It should be darker at the top and get lighter down toward the horizon. If you're if you're doing it right, if you're doing the technique the way Bob demonstrates, it'll start off dark. Mix with the liquid white, you get lighter, lighter, lighter as you work toward the horizon. Hmm. Good stuff. Are you are you making a reflection? I'm just curious. Yeah, this will be this will be water. That's there, beating the devil out of it. <laughs> this is great. Uh, they're still saying there's no audio. It's a live show. Yeah. Okay. Things well. Happen. All right. Well. Should we get started on playing this game? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's. So this is a party drawing game, correct? It is. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the the Bob Ross Happy Little Accidents game. Um, I'm Deirdre. And this is Jessica. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Just in, I don't know. It really <laughs> my matters. Friends. You guys don't get to yeah, know. Yeah. They're my friends. Um, so so we're from uh, Forest Prusane Creative, and yes. we invented and developed this game. So and you invent lots of incredible games. We, we do. Try. We try. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So we also have. Um, last year we did the Bob Ross Art of Chill game, which maybe if we have enough time we'll get to play here yes. today. But um, this this game is brand new this year. It comes out in September, so we're pretty pumped. Um, and um, you want to. You want to get into some party drawing games? Yeah, yes. let's party. Okay, let's party. <laughs> this plays three to six players, right? Uh, oh. I think, oh, wait. Yeah, three Sorry, to six. The happy little the clouds, clouds are starting. Clouds. Yeah, the happy little clouds are happening. <laughs> That's just... I could just hang out. Are some happier than others? I'm just, you know... Oh, I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm of it. sure. <laughs> some are just complacent, but... Yeah. yeah. They have their days. Yeah. That Bob Ross easel is amazing. Isn't it, though? All the cards I love this are... thing. <laughs> I'm going to go get the cards. They're not here. Oh, the cards are not here. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, I just need to... Are these ones you want me to use? Is no. That okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. On the bright side, you can just, with no audio, you can just focus just in over on these just yeah. beautiful painting. You can just enjoy the stay <laughs> on These him. messages from Happy Little Clouds. Just stay on the, on the painter. Oh, and then you add more Thalo Blue under the... Mm -hmm, just soften it down into the into the sky color and you can keep going. Oh, what is that? What, what? That's just blending Tell it. That's blending oh, it. But does the, the blending, does it have a special name? Is like it a dry brush? Side, is it like the side uh, blend 2000? Well, Bob calls this <laughs> fluffing it or teasing it. Okay. Fluffing so you the want clouds. the technical, you know. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. Teasing the clouds. This is, this is what teasing he said. the clouds. Yeah, this is. 
I like fluffing the clouds. Okay, fluffing. so this is Happy Little Accidents. <laughs> and why don't we introduce ourselves one more time now that we have audio. Okay, yes. we are on. Okay, we have audio. <laughs> Great. So, uh, so I'm Bebo. I'm Deirdre. I'm Jessica. And um, we're here with the Bob Ross uh, Happy Little Accidents game. We're the, the, from the Game Invention and Development House, uh, Forrest Prusan Creative. They're amazing. Their studio just has a ton of very brilliant creators, and they even do cool things like record videos of people playing the game to see their reactions to really oh. neat things. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's incredible, especially with kids. Cause oh. Yeah. Kids can't hide their excitement no. for good mechanics. Or their disdain. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so we want to see, yeah, if it's if it's working, uh, yeah, we are all about playtesting. So we want to see when it's working and we really want to see when it doesn't. Yeah. Right. yeah. Because if it's if it's not working when it's in a rough prototype stage, you you better get it right. Yeah. 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 Right. And so when you get a game from them, you know that it's been thoroughly playtested and it's a quality game and there's been a lot of thought put into it and a lot of people have had their hands on it too because you're a creative studio you don't have individual design credits right yeah yeah so we're we're sort of a collective of uh, designers and creators and um, you know art we have art departments and we have d graphic design and we have you know it's a in game design it's and we're all working together and in a really integrated way so yeah. super super collaborative Studio. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. It's great. We love it. Mm. Yeah. So um, anyway, so this, so uh, wait, really quick. Go ahead. Should we introduce Nick as well? Yeah, yeah. Since the audio is working. Yeah. yeah. I'm Nick. <laughs> I'm your certified Bob Ross instructor. He's certified. He's yeah. official. This is yeah. The, this yeah. is the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> and just so chat knows, now that we have audio, you are free to give us input about what's going into this painting once we get a little bit further down the road. So I have my phone here. If I look down, I swear I'm not texting or being distracted. I'm talking to you. So give us your input, and uh, let's see what we can make happen to this certified Bob Ross painting. Yes. <laughs> we already have the happy little clouds. So. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no They've input on begun. the clouds. No input They've on begun. the clouds. Yeah. 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 OK. Oh. Sorry. Just <laughs> I'm not here. Play the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Our uh, so this is uh, the game that we have is a um, it's a social party game, mm -hmm. and it's um, called Happy Little Accidents. Yes. It's a drawing game. So we are actually um, we're going to be doing our own art, if you want to call it that, over here while okay. he's painting over there. So yes. it, this is a game for um, for three to six players, um, ages ten and up. Though we've seen it play with younger kids as well. Right. And um, so to play this game, we start out. We each pick a color. So I'm red, and um, you're I'm blue. Green. Someone has taken my red pen. It's not here. Maybe uh, someone can find it for me. <laughs> red I'm red. Pen. But I'll pass this around. Tell you guys what to do, and I will go get my red pen. Are so red pens in here? Um, we are each going to. Um, we have our own color, and we're going to start by. Um, we each have three pieces of paper. The game is going to be played over three rounds. Okay. And um, to start the game, we're each going to take our, the black pen. We're going to take turns. And you're just going to make, I'm going to do this out here in the center. She doesn't want to see it. We're each just going to do a random um, squiggle. Okay. Whatever, whatever shape you want. And I'm going to, I'm going to do that and then throw it out into the middle. Just going to do, and what we're doing now, I'm actually, I'm doing the accident. Okay, that's the accident. So go ahead and do three. Thanks. We're in the accident phase right yes. now. We're gonna do them face down, is we're gonna mix them up, and then they're gonna be distributed over the rounds. And they're going to become beautiful, beautiful masterpieces. Oh, without yeah. doubt, yeah. Good squiggle. Yeah, nice. <laughs> really okay. creative squiggle. All right, here you go, Jess. All right. So then um, once we're all done making our squiggle, then um, we're going to draw one card. And actually, we only play um, one card for the whole game. There's 54 of them. So okay. that's a lot of replay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so in the round, should I put this out here? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so um, each round, um, someone at the table is going to randomly pick a number. Pick a number between one and six, Bebo. Three. Three. OK. It is detective. Mm. So now. We are each going to, I'm going to mix these up. 
Wow, I look down and I look back and there's a mountain. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. <laughs> that just happened. Nick has painted us a mountain. This just happened. Oh wow. <laughs> I mean, well no, it, it's it hard didn't work. just it happen. Didn't, yeah. <laughs> this happened with, with ten thousand hours of practice. Not too hard. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, wow. That's incredible. Yeah. It's just so calming. It's hard not to watch it. You know. It's true. But it's very peaceful. Yeah, we're playing playing a sort of a low level competition over here, which is a hard like mix, right? right? It's, like, <laughs> it's like very peaceful and sand over there, and then we're like, I'm going to draw the best drawing you've ever seen. I'm not. But, okay. Let's uh, okay. Let's each randomly take one of these, and then we've already selected. Um, the, so the word is detective, and actually, don't look yet at your thing. And we are each going to draw in 30 seconds the best version of a detective we can while using the squiggle that already exists. Oh no. Okay. okay, and then once we're, we're done drawing, we're going to go around the table and we're each going to, excuse me, describe uh, as much description as you want to give about your drawing. Okay. Any, anything you want to say. Because that factors in as well. Because later we're going to yeah. vote on them. Yeah. And okay. We will, we will remember how you described your detective. Got it. So, okay. Ready? Here we go. And we're out. Oh, we're out. Okay. All right. Jess, why don't you go first? Uh, let's see. I'm not really sure what happened here. I just want to start <laughs> by rotate. saying uh, I started drawing a top hat because I was like, detectives wear top hats, but they don't. And then I, I realized that Mr. Peanut wears a top hat. And so uh, I just started drawing Mr. Peanut because I was thinking he'd probably be a pretty good detective because... Um, <laughs> That's why. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, it's because he has a monocle, and he's very he's very smart. Obviously, because he has a monocle. He's trying uh -huh. to find yeah. out who has the peanut allergy. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's detecting peanut allergy. Yeah, he's detecting. He's he's all about safety. He doesn't want any anaphylactic shock happening. So he's he's a great detective. He's great. Right. Okay. Okay, yeah. so that's That's Jessica's. Mr. Peanut. All right, here's mine. I also went for a, a detective. You can see he's got this sort of, he's got this fedora, so, and then he's got his collar up, turned against the rain. He's like on a stakeout. It's like he's out there in the night and he's watching for the, yeah. It's a, it's this whole, he's got a, I'm he's a detective. A yeah. He's got a whole thing going with the stakeout. <laughs> got it. Okay. So... A lot of people glorify the detective career, but Alfred <laughs> doesn't actually like his job anymore because he used to be a detective that was out on the streets, and they've since subjected him to so much desk duty that he's just processing papers all day. Oh, that's such a sad story. It's a super sad story, but clearly that squiggle was a desk, and I, there, I was not getting out of that. Yeah, and Alfred has some good hair going on there as yeah. well. Yeah. And some wings. Alfred grew out, <laughs> grew out his hair. <laughs> He's got long hair. Okay, so yeah. then you take your drawing back. Okay. And then just uh, set it, just leave it in front of you. So now we're going to do round two. Okay. That's it. Okay, Jess, pick a number between one and six. I'm going to pick two. Okay, you take this. Don't look yet. Don't look. Don't look. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's number two is tour guide. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh god, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> Crap. Are we out of time? Shoot. Yep. Okay, mine. We're probably wow. running out of time much faster than we think. Wow, okay. Uh, Jessica, <laughs> you go first. <laughs> well, uh, my tour guide, my tour guide is, uh, he's, a, he's a bit aggressive. 
So he gets really excited about all the places that he's been. And he wants to let people know all the different places that he's been. And obviously, he's yelling about it. So he's hyped. Oh. He's a very, very um, aggressive but enthusiastic tour guide. Oh, OK. Yeah. Antarctica. He really likes Antarctica. So. Okay. That's <laughs> very right. nice. Um, my tour guide is like, that's, he's like, like this, he's like, ah, like he's like shouting. He's like, over here, is over that a mouth? here. Is that's that his a mouth? mouth. That's his like uvula oh, in the, the back. That's, I had a uvula as well. We got, <laughs> we got double, double uvula action. There's something about yeah. tour guides that we think <laughs> means they're yelling. They're yelling. They're yelling. <laughs> they're yelling. Yeah. So that's. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. like, they're not listening to him, but it's a, uh, they're in a museum, it's very echoey. So, yes. Oh, the echo, yeah. yes. It's okay. hard to get over yes. the echo, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> my tour guide is that, you know, that tour guide on the double-decker bus, and so he's like oh. telling people to look at stuff. Look at stuff. Yeah. Uh, at the, at the, on the top of the bus. <laughs> I don't even know if wor writing words is legal, but I did it anyway. Uh, it's probably not. It's, I think when you said look at stuff, it's like, you yeah. know. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's actually, I don't think it's actually in the instructions that you can't write words. And it's kind of like, it's very Bob Ross, you know, it's like, well, you know, if you really feel like you need to write a word, yeah. then you can. But, you know, in the spirit of the, in, it's mostly going to be, you know, impression, you know, of, of the painting. But, yeah. yeah, I think it's okay. Perfect. Oh, yeah. You guys. House look, rules. <gasps> we have. Oh ultimately, gosh. it's your world. That's what you were saying. With That's the, what yeah. I'm saying. It's ultimately, yeah. it's your world. Yeah. You make it. Do we have some? We have uh, got some happy some is that some trees. Some trees? Some are they? Are, is that going hills. to be a forest? Foot oh. hills. Foot hills. Yeah. yeah. The footies. This is. Do you, is there a place in mind when you're? Is is there a place you want to be? Like, <laughs> is this an actual place, or is it, this it a place be, of your yeah, mind? It could, it could <laughs> He's in his world. Yeah. Not in my head. He's in it's my <laughs> world. <laughs> it's his world. We're just living in it. No, okay. No. We're visiting. Yeah. Maybe your tour guide can. That's true. Yeah, the <laughs> tour guide's like, oh, over here! Look at the lake! <laughs> Look at this mountain! <laughs> it's so beautiful! <laughs> it's not super <laughs> Bob Ross, but. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So much uvula. It's, it's, it's Bob Ross's world. We're just. Yep, yeah. you're putting shouty uvula. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's round two. <laughs> On to round three. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's this over you, Jess. And to me, okay, and then randomly oh. pick a number between one and six, please. Mm, one. The word is monkey. monkey. Here we go. Oh, oh dear. boy. Almost time. Time. Oh, oh, that was special. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Yeah, I really blew this one. You guys. <laughs> this was not good. There are all right. no mistakes. That's true. Thank you. Only happy little accidents. Well, uh, I I find uh, monkeys are happiest when they're learning how to sew. And so this is a sewing machine here, and oh. uh, it's a giant sewing machine. Yeah. So it's not quite to scale. The monkey uh, is much smaller than the sewing machine, mm -hmm. but so it's it, as you can see, it makes him a little crazy when he's trying to use it. But uh, he's learning, and he's really happy about his new skills that he's learning. So That's, he looks happy. Yeah, probably. yeah, he looks. He's kind of like like uh, Mogwai. <laughs> This is my monkey. Um, he is living his best life. Yeah. He's in the jungle. He is uh, swinging from the branches. It's a beautiful day. That's a happy monkey. Yeah. That's but wait, wait. Hold, he, hold on. He doesn't have a tail because he's a macaque. <laughs> <laughs> was that your question? No, but. <laughs> I was what? just wondering, I just I just want to, you know, just because we have to make some decisions later, so I really okay, wanna, okay. <laughs> I want to understand what's going on. So is this this looks kind of like a like a train 
is this a railway? Company? No, no, that's the tree. These are that's the it's like a palm tree. That's like the vertical like oh. striation on the oh, tree. Oh, I see it. Okay. And those are the fronds I coming see it. off. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's, it, here, here. It's, oh, now I, I yeah. now I see it. Yeah. Okay. I can't I can't draw the line at the bottom because that very, would be cheating. That's very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I thought your your issue was with my monkey. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. No. I I knew. But. Okay. <laughs> Those oh. foothills are really coming along. We should they probably really cut are. to that and take a look. Wow, oh, that's the lake. But the foothills are around. Yeah. This is. I want to be there. Yeah. Nick, I, I want to live yeah. there. <laughs> have you ever been to the Cascades? Have you seen the Cascade Mountains? Yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. Reminiscent. Of yeah, there's a little yeah. reminiscent. Yeah. There's a place my family goes that's near a, a lake that looks kind of like this. Oh. Do you paint outdoors? Do you stand in front of a mountain like this and paint and just think, this is it, this is this is the life? I have, I have before. It's the life until the sun gets right overhead and the uh, bugs come out and the wind comes up. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't paint outdoors as often as I once did. Yeah, mm -hmm. it seems but more glamorous than it is. It really is, yeah. yeah. There's, there's no beret and a few flicks of paint. It's, it's <laughs> physical, the Dewey <laughs> Bob's technique. We could do a Kickstarter campaign for you and we could just build you like a little glass bubble that's glass all the way around so you could yeah. paint yeah, just glass. Roll air that thing out yeah. Yeah. Like the Pope Mobile. Yeah, and just we'll like get you a pole mobile. Mm -hmm. Perfect. A paint mobile. mobile. The paint yes. mobile. Yes. What? Yes. Oh, we're a good team. The happy yeah. little paint mobile. Happy little paint mobile. Oh, that would be huge. Okay, we're right. let's I'll, go on to our okay. next monkey. Okay. Okay. So we've got another oh, monkey adorable. here, yeah. and this monkey was torn between being a real monkey and a monkey in a barrel. So he decided he was going to be both. Yeah. He's a, he's a barrel. Wait, so what, where's the barrel? The arm, the arms are from the barrel oh, monkeys. Oh, yes. the barrel monkeys, the classic, the classic toy. Yeah. 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 Yep. That's great. That's very cute. So. I love how happy your monkey is. He's very happy. Yeah. 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 That's what happens when you have 30 seconds to draw a face. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. <laughs> so um, that's the end of the, the drawing phase of the game. So now you get to look at your own uh, drawings. Mm. You're going to judge your own drawings and think about which one you think is the most likely to get votes from your um, uh, your fellow players here? So okay. you think which this ones was, we like the best. This was a rough. This was a rough round. For yeah. Me, I so think. You, yeah. I. <laughs> I don't know, a little stage fright or something. Like, yeah. I've never had I'm to... usually such an uh, amazing artist. I am too. Yeah. Like, on my own, I'm naturally just, I'm, I'm, I'm really incredible. Yeah. I think I'm just, like, nervous because of the live stream. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm a full-blown <laughs> artist at home too. That's what I tell everybody. Yeah. <laughs> like, you should see me at home. I'm really good. So then pick what you want to put forward for the voting. And I guess I'm going to... I'm not going to look at what you're doing, but I, I feel like maybe your monkey was stronger than mine. So I'm going to go with my detective. I'm going to put my oh, detective out. I'm putting my monkey out. You're putting your uh, monkey out for the votes. What I do you think, Jess? I don't know. I was thinking about my monkey, and I'm concerned because Bebo's monkey, Bebo's is, monkey good, is really but, good. But your monkey knows how to sew. My monkey knows nothing about sewing. Well, that's the thing is I thought maybe the skills would really get that extra <laughs> vote. push him over. So I'm going to try. But I'm sure. not feeling good about this. Okay, you put your monkey. Just put okay. your monkey out there. I, yeah, I put the monkey out there. Okay. Yeah. So now we um, now we take our, our voting tokens, and we are going to vote on the other player at the tables. Uh, we're going to vote on the other drawings. Now, actually, because it's, we're playing as a three-player game, we're not even going to use the the one the one squirrel token. By the way, there's squirrels on the back of these. Yeah, do you, speaking of. Do you guys know what's so special about squirrels? You probably do know, you know a lot do you about, know about squirrels. Next. About, about Peapod. Yes. Yeah. yes. Peapod yeah. is in this game. We've got these sweet little squirrels here because we know that Bob loved all Peapod. those little critters. Yeah. And he Peapod had a soft and spot for he them. He really yeah. did have a soft spot. Yeah. Bob was really great. And um, so... Actually, when we made our first game on, on BGG, everybody was like, where's Peapod? We love Peapod. Why isn't he in this game? So we, yeah. So there we was made a sure. whole campaign. It was like a, bring yeah. Bring Peapod back. Yeah, and, hashtag you know, where's Peapod. Yeah. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I'm glad you righted all the wrongs. We that really did. <laughs> committed. We did. We, we, we really, like, we're yeah. all about the fans, you know? Yeah. So, um, so Peapod is in this game. So okay. that's how you score is that you have the highest number of Peapods. So take your, your three and your two Peapod mm -hmm. tokens and give them to who you think are the best 
uh, or you can put them out there. It's probably easier up here because of the distance. Okay, oh, wait a minute. I think these are my extras. So give them to who you think is the best. Everybody gets one. Uh, uh, what's going to be the price point on this game? I think it's $20, uh, $19.99. Yeah, cool. yeah. 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 It comes in this amazing box. It's all fuzzy. It's so fuzzy. Like, yeah. the box alone is worth the money. <laughs> Seriously. Just to put it I on agree. your shelf. I love that box. <laughs> I have had Bob Ross, The Art of Chill, sitting on, on my bookshelf as people walk into my house. And it is, like, the first thing people say, what is that? <laughs> like, for months. Thank you. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so now I have something to join him. Yes. Oh, thank you. Side by side. Um, and yeah. I don't want to make you feel bad, but you do also, um, I think you need to, I think we need one more vote out here with oh. the green. Is that right with that one? That was here? my extra one. Oh, I we one got them. Some of them came up here and some of them went down here. We might have to reclaim them. Because I. This was my extra one. That's this your extra one. one. And that then. That one was for you. That mm -hmm. one's for you. That one These ones for were, you. oh, this one's for me. This one is discarded because we had too many. Okay. So this one is for you. Okay. We figured yeah. it out. Great. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're playing on three different. <laughs> Files. Levels. Yeah. Okay, so then you flip over your tokens and you see what your score is. Oh my oh. gosh! You won. <laughs> I won. Your monkey was the best that of the happy a beautiful accidents. monkey. He is a good monkey. Yeah. yeah. So you got six. I got I got five, and you got four. Yeah. I mean, I my monkey obviously has some work to do, and yeah. I'll try to improve for next round. I mean, I'll be honest. When it came down to it, I felt like. Maybe monkey sewing could be a little exploitive of animal labor. That's true. We don't so want to judge, I had to vote for the detective to catch those people that are exploiting those animal yeah. labors. <laughs> but this monkey like owns his own business. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Small business oh, monkey. He has an Etsy. Yeah, it's yeah. This is actually like he has an Etsy shop, and uh, it's how he's putting himself through college. Should have included so, that. In the... It's actually. Um, well, now I feel bad. Yeah. But. So <laughs> he's really okay. I just need some money, and I guess he's never going to go through college. I'll interview him <laughs> on my YouTube channel so we can uh, Give him a get his Etsy channel. Okay, okay. great. Boost. Perfect. All right, so that is, uh, that's Happy Little Accidents. So cute. Pretty pretty laid back little game. Should we oh, wait. look at this painting that's yeah. coming along? Holy smokes. Wow. All of a sudden, I look over and... We have a masterpiece. There's a whole, uh, a whole different, different level of terrain coming at us. Is that an island? Is that an island on the water? It can be. Ooh. Wow. Really? It's your can it? It can be. It can be anything oh, you want. Wow. What do you think? Should we make it an island, you guys? Yeah. Can we? I don't know if it's too late to make it an yeah. island, but. Oh, there's a reflection, I, right? Yeah. Do you ever do, like, canoes? I'd love to see a canoe out there. Oh, like mm -hmm. kayak. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a little. Now, there's a certain level of outlandishness, right? I mean, we oh, can't yeah. we can't be like sewing monkey in a canoe, right? Right. It, well, yeah. 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 At least I've never seen Bob do that. That's so true. I'm yeah. Okay. To keep it true to true. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah. And a I canoe, I think, is in the world, right? Maybe it's in the world. I know. I know he didn't do a lot. Like a little boat. Yeah. A little. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a, a cabin for sure. A cabin, absolutely. A oh, cabin we can make happen, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, just right in there. Just yeah. Oh, I love that technique. Yeah, what is that technique called? That's just, that's just removing paint from the oh. canvas with a little scratch it, of the knife. It doesn't have a, a special name. But it gives the trees I think trunks. I think it's called graffito, graffato, something like oh, that. Oh, okay. I can't remember. It's been a while since I was in art school. <laughs> but... Uh, how often do you do you paint every day? Uh, not quite, but at least at least once a week. Yeah. At least, yeah. yeah. It's so relaxing. It is. Yeah. I teach I teach more classes than I than I just paint for myself. So. Yeah. Well, what do you guys think? Should we do? Do you want to do uh, another happy little accents, or do you want to do? Some art of chill. Let's let's be chill. I mean, we're chilling, right? Watching wow. this painting, and I feel like if we chilled, we could we could play even the demo version that I came up with. Yeah. Oh. The, the super quick version. Yeah. Okay. From when I demoed for you guys. Yes. <laughs> oh you were gosh. an amazing demoer. Thank you. Yes. Also, you are. okay. You were Seriously. like, Lee, you guys are knocking the boxes out of the park, though. <laughs> this box. Thank you. Who came up with this idea? Um, well, I, I, 
I think the the initial idea came from from Jay Wheatley, who's our uh, our executive uh, producer and sort of head of creative. So, yeah, it's just perfect. Yeah, yeah, a it's, Bob Ross painting in Bob Ross's hair, and then you can really just. Be like this. Yeah, you can actually, <laughs> oh, yeah. if you get it, and you can do use like a, one of those face swap apps. Oh, I've yeah. done it. And you can swap in what you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can and, play like this. And how amazing, like the, the Bob Ross estate, they're so cool. Like they are super chill, like that they would let us do something like this. Like, you know, imagine Tom Cruise letting you replace his hair with something else. Like it would never happen. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But so, Bob Ross is the chillest. He's like, yeah. he's like, yeah. If that's how I look in your world, do it. Yeah, you know. Perfect. And we're like, yes, and it's pretty cool. So let's take a look, please. Okay. Chill. So this is the chill meter, and the objective of this game is to be the most chill player. Mm -hmm. And you do this by painting different parts of the painting, by collecting different paint colors and different tools that you'll be using you throughout the game. Green or blue? Uh, I'm green. Okay. Blue? Oh, I'll be blue, sure. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna look through here and see if I can find a painting that looks kind of like that one. Yeah. Explaining oh what's gosh, going on. Oh my gosh, look at this oh. tree coming in. No, there's one, this one's a little more similar. This one, look, is kind of, I mean, he could, oh, that's great. It could turn into this, though. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Look at how many paintings. Oh, my. All right. Okay. Okay, so what color are you to? Uh, I'm red and just as blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. oh, there's a tree in the foreground. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Blue and red. Thank you. Oh, this one's kind of a fall day. I want to find one that is, has the same tonal range. Oh, it's the biggest tree ever. Actually, you know, it's beautiful. It's the this one is tree kind ever. of. That, this I one think is that's kind of pretty similar. Good. I mean, it's different I mean, yeah. than where he's going there, but I. It takes place in the no, same yeah, universe. It's very similar. Isn't that? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's kind of it's evocative. It's of, just, of, just down the street. Maybe of we could get it's just some, down the street. Maybe we could get some little yellow flowers in there. As well, it might be difficult. But yeah, it's like early looking. fall. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like or late summer. Yeah, like just at the edge of the of the, se the shoulder of the season. It's the shoulder of the season, really. Yeah, it's a lovely like description. <laughs> Isn't that a nice description? Can I borrow that sometime? Yeah. Take it. It's yours. The shoulder Kay. of the season. I like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Just Nick, how long have you been a certified Bob Ross instructor? Uh, this is seven, eight years. I've been a certified instructor, and I've, I've been painting along with Bob since I was, well, <laughs> for 25 years. Okay. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. What, uh, how come, you know, if you're paying for 25 years, what, what was the decision where you're like, it's time, I'm going to be an instructor? Was there... I needed money. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've just I've always so was I've it, always it wasn't wanted like a to do life that. Goal uh, or <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd wanted to do that for a long time. Yeah. So. Yeah. What is? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the process of also becoming a, a certified instructor? Oh right? sure. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a three week it's a three week course, uh, and there are three different courses offered in landscape, which is what Bob did, uh, floral painting and wildlife, and each mm -hmm. one's three weeks. And uh, all the training takes place, at least in the United States, it takes place in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, which is just south of Daytona Beach. And uh, he's, it's in a shop that Bob opened, actually, with his business partner in 1992, I mm -hmm. believe. So the shop's been there that, for that period of time. And 50, I believe there are 53 original Bob Ross paintings hanging in that, in that building. So you get to oh, kind wow. of sit among Bob's masterpieces and then study the technique and become an instructor. So it's, it's a really inspiring uh, three weeks to spend. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was terrific. So wait, did you have a track that you specialized in? Was it something or are you just- I, I've done, I've, I'm certified in all three, I don't know what you would call them, disciplines, I guess. Yeah. Uh, landscape, landscape, floral, and, uh, and wildlife. And hmm. each technique's just a little different, but they all use oil. Very cool. How do you feel about painting squirrels? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty confident. Would you 
would, would we need a pea pod, you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we need a pea pod. Okay. Definitely. Well, we'll get to that before we, before we sign it off here. Okay. So this is potentially an incorrect slash fast version of this game because we have a very limited amount of time to play this. But we're going to play through and kind of show you how the art of chill works. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are the various things that we need to paint on this painting. And the catch is that we are kind of competing against Bob himself because Bob here is going to be moving up this track anytime we roll his face on this die. However, there are other faces on this die that will allow us to take other actions. For example, this would allow, allow us to draw another card and this would allow us to, oh gosh, I forgot what that one was. Which one? Take the hand. Open hand. To take, put I another think. thing onto your palette. No, that's this that's one. The, that's, that's, that's the palette one. one. What's the hand? I think do you get to draw an additional card. No, it's this hand? one. Oh, gosh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think it's you play something else on your palette, right? That's the palette. Oh. Well, we forgot. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> great work, everyone. <laughs> it's. I haven't played in a little bit. No, okay. I haven't played in, in right. a year. Yeah. And so <laughs> Bob will be moving up this track, and if he gets to these things, we lose the opportunities to get oh, these bonus points. Is that you get to clear those? I think that's what it is. Yes, that's what it is. Yes. It clears out all of these that's and you get right. four more. Okay. High five. Yes. Good job. Came back to me. <laughs> We're so mellow in here. We're just like super <laughs> chill. <laughs> and these are the chill cards. And every time Bob, we roll Bob's face, a new Bob Ross chill card comes out. And he not only uh, encourages us with his cute little quotes, but there are also special things that are going to happen throughout the process, and so it will give us bonuses. Now, at the same time, we are competing against each other, and the way that we're doing that is the first person to paint each of these things is going to get bonus chill points for painting them. In this painting, we have a wondrous water, an almighty mountain, and happy little trees, of course. Just like what our painter is doing. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. How apropos. <laughs> so perfect. And so we will be painting these things by acquiring the correct colors and brushes. Now, each card is both a color and a brush. So you need to take these colors on your turn and then start placing them onto your palette. You have two halves of your palette. Um, and each side is unique because anytime you start mixing colors together, you can then not unmix them. Yes. You're stuck with them together, which means that if Bob gets all the way to the end of this painting and we have to go to the next painting, your colors are stuck together and you might not be able to paint anything on the next one. Yeah, that's true. Which means you would have to take your turn to clear, clear off one of your palette things. Also, that's what the hand is. It lets you clear your palette. Ah! <laughs> High five. Speaking of which. I knew it was clearing something. Yeah. Oh, all right. He's and so we're starting yeah. with these colors because uh, we're trying to get to the chill, to the end of the chill meter, and the first person to do so is the most chill and they win the game. Okay. We're going to have so to actually do it. look at these to see where we're going. So. Why don't we do this? Since it's on the stream, we'll not use the easel. Okay. We're going to put Bob's little easel away. Yeah. And that's made so that easel is special as well. Oh yeah, yeah. that's the, the, our easel that we, yeah, that we designed. We we designed it to be in the shape of of Bob's uh, actual e easel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that it's not like a like a tripod one. It's like very sturdy and mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna it's take the real the, deal. It's, it's gonna it's gonna take the yeah. the paint and the the technique if you have to really get in there. Yeah, yeah. that looks like a beautiful place for a squirrel to live. Oh, yeah. If I were a squirrel, I would live there. You would live there, yeah. Yeah, you'd be lucky. I think so. I think so. That'd be life. That'd be life. Okay, so on your turn, you get how many actions? Three. Three? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right, so at the start of my turn, then, I'm going to take this two inch brush, and then I'm going to place any color and sap green onto mm. my painting. Okay, so you're either. Oh, I forgot to roll. Oops. You're either looking at for to try to complete the happy little trees or the woodland wa or wondrous waters. Yes, one of the two. So I got an extra card, and now it's your turn. Okay. And then I can, oh yeah. And what's the action there? Do you have an action? Oh, oh yes. When this card is revealed, all players may draw art supplies card from, from the, the top, top of the deck. deck. Great. Yeah. So I get one, you get one. We all get extra art supplies, and then it is your turn, Vicky. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to roll the die first. Mm -hmm. I got Bob. Bob! Okay, so 
here's where it gets interesting. Bob says, let's make some nice little clouds that just float around and have fun all day. Mm. He's instructing you. <laughs> I'm ahead of you, Bob. Oh. <laughs> two, you get two extra points for getting there before Bob. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> On this turn, we earn one extra chill point if we, if we paint a feature with titanium white. Okay, Ooh. so while he's active. Yes. Yes. While, while that active. card is active, if any of us can complete a feature. And then so. does it move forward one when the new chill is revealed? Yep. Okay. So I have three actions that I... He moved forward only when Bob was. Oh yeah. Bob was, Bob oh yeah. Bob, Bob was, was revealed. revealed. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. And I can take three actions. So I am going to. Boy. I'm going to take. Oh, is there a question? There's a question. Oh, uh, how did your team come up with the idea for the Bob Ross game? Oh, that's an interesting. Yeah, question. that's a good question. Well, our team is always. Um, we're always thinking of ideas, so we're in a constant, uh, constant mode of, of thinking of potential licenses or themes uh, that could make for great games. And this is something we were really interested in, Bob, because we have a lot of fans in the office. And um, we also noticed that there was a lot of love for Bob Ross on Twitch, actually. And so uh, that was really interesting to us as well. And um, we. We just we pursued it, yeah. And did you approach them for the license? Um, in, in that case, we did, actually, yeah. So that was something that came from our team. And, and we worked with the estate. And, and then you know, we found a, a great publisher to work with that yeah. was really excited about the concept and uh, helped us bring it to life. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and so, big G. That's so exciting. Yeah. It's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. And so I imagine that like sometimes there's variation between you know f people that you approach you and then when you approach other people too when it comes to licensing because licensing is so complicated. Yeah. yeah. I mean licensing it can be it can be interesting because I think um, you know we we have so many pop culture fanatics in our office and we're always thinking about like oh what about this as a game this would be awesome and. Uh, sometimes I think, you know, it, it's realistic. I mean, this, honestly, when, when we were all talking about this, yeah. they were like, well, that's really interesting. That could be really unique, but uh, it's, a little, it's a little off the beaten path, you yeah. know? And so mm -hmm. we really had to find somebody that was willing to take the ride with us and do something really unique. I mean, when you think about Bob Ross, and we hear this a lot, I think that we had this strategy where we we actually created a light strategy game with it and and tried to do something that was rich, um, and uh, I think that surprised a lot of people. But we also think that's why that's why it works really well. So mm -hmm. and that's why people appreciate the game. It it feels chill. Yeah, it's, it's chill. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Any game with a chill meter in it is <laughs> a win. Really. That's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. A race to be chill. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually done with my turn. You're done with your turn. Yeah. Okay. I played two cards to my palette. Okay. So I get to add a card to my a paint to my palette. Correct. Um, I let's see what you guys are going for. Well, you guys are both going for okay, either okay. water or trees. <gasps> so I think I'll I'm gonna try for the mountain. So you actually get an extra action, right? Because you get three actions plus this one. Yeah, so now I have nice. three more actions. So I am going to uh, draw a card as one action, and uh, I'll draw another card as another action. <laughs> Deirdre. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And then I will play uh, to my palette. There we go. All right. Okay, so chill. I am so chill right yeah. now. It might just be that it's the fourth day of Gen Con and I'm tired. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that too. That's yeah. Too. <laughs> All right, so I drew another Bob, or rolled another Bob. Now Bob says, if painting does nothing else, it should make you happy. Also instructing our friend over here. Yeah. yeah. Do you find that to be true? No, very much so. <laughs> very much so. Yes. When this card is revealed, all players may play a paint to their palette. Oh, oh. Bob. And you moved Bob forward one I did. on the track. Mm. And I'm going to, oh, I don't want to mix. I can play a brush as well, right? Mm -hmm. OK. I'm going to play 
a little titanium white. Yeah. I'm going to play a brush. Oh, wait, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember if I play a brush here, but yes. OK. OK. So in my turn, I'm going to take this one, put a new one out. I'm going to play this to my board. And then I'm going to pick up the fan brush. And that is my turn. one card. I'll take it. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to draw one more. And uh, then I think I'm going to, I'm going to, guys, I'm going to paint a, paint a feature. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've got the two-inch brush, I've got the sap green, and uh, I've got the uh, cadmium yellow. So I'm going to paint the wondrous water. Hmm. Which means I want a Bob yeah, Ross plus two VR game. Let's yes. yes. So I don't actually have to pay for paint. <laughs> <laughs> actually, this would be amazing as a with the color. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get so you get one point for each color you played as well, right? Did you get yeah, five? you get okay. Yes. So oh, I do. Yeah. Here's how the scoring works. Color. So you get. I'll go back to my. Home. Okay. So, yeah. so you use three colors. So you uh, get two colors plus one brush. Oh, okay. Two colors plus one brush. So you got two for that. Plus, on top of that, it's for Happy Little Trees. So there's no bonus, but it's important. Or wait, no, it wasn't for Happy Little Trees. That was for bonus one, one, water. one water. So you get, so you one, get bonus. one bonus for that, and then you get two more for being the first person to do it here. Yeah. So I, in the, in the, the game, I w painted the Wondrous Water faster than Bob. Yes. And that's yes. the case. So I, 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 I was... I'm not in a really in a race with Bob, but yeah, yeah, you were successful. But I was watching his show, and I'm just painting along. Okay, your turn. All right. Okay, I get card. one additional card, so the and card. so I have my three actions now. I'm going oh. to take that titanium white. Oh, if somebody can give that, so that's one. I'm going to play that down to my palette, and Sorry. now I can complete all mighty mountains. Oh, okay. yeah. So I'm going to complete that for my third action. Because so oh, I have the palette knife. I have oh, but your titanium white was over here. Oh, but okay. Can you mix yes. from the different side? You yes. can. As long as it's yeah. not mixed with anything else. Yeah. Correct. Okay, good. So I'm going to play, and I get a bonus of two for the mountains. I paint it with three colors, so I get those three points. And you're the first person to do And I'm the first it. person to complete Almighty Mountain, so I get those two additional points. Awesome. Wow. You're yeah. so chill, I'm Jessica. I'm super chill. You are so <laughs> chill. Yeah. The chillest. That's what I was thinking. And now, uh, I can do I whip this clean? Yes. Yes. You used everything? Yep. You beat the devil out of it. I did. I really did. You're beating the devil out of me. No, it's just uh, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so I just rolled this palette, and that means I can play another card from my hand to my palette, but at this point, I don't want to, because I'm trying to complete those happy little trees. So instead, I'm mix. just going to pass on it. Okay. And I'm going to use this fan brush to complete my happy little trees. Oh, yeah. Because I'm just feeling super chill. Is that the correct brush to use? Yes. Nick? Yes. Fan brush. Okay. Yeah. That's great. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> so where to... where do you think Peapod would... is going to live? Well, that's your... what I was wondering. Do you Maybe... think P is Peapod I think he steering needs... the, the canoe? Or? I think he needs a little, uh, I think he needs a little branch. Trail. Yeah. A little branch to sit on. Or Peapod on top of the mountain. Like, he's like, I did it! I don't think he's visible. <laughs> I don't think we'd see Peapod at this what distance. But that victory noise was right on. <laughs> Unless Peapod ate a lot. What if it's like a Godzilla-sized Peapod? Yeah, could it be like Peapod's Podzilla. profile Podzilla. in the sky looking down and enjoying the scenery? Just, I don't know. We're pushing I'm going to go with the branch it. option. <laughs> That's we got a canoe. What do you want? Okay. You do you. We get it. Uh, <laughs> is that some Van Dyke brown? Van Dyke brown. Uh, ah, yeah. yes. Oh. The best brown. That's right. When I was a kid and I would watch Bob Ross, I always thought that Van Dyke brown was named after Dick Van Dyke, but I doubt that that's true. <laughs> do you know, is that I, true? I kind of pretend it was as anyway. Fan, yeah, know. as a fan of like Mary Poppins and so many Mary other Mary Tyler things, Moore. And, and the Mary Tyler Moore show. Yeah. I mean... I'm a, a huge Dick Van Dyke fan, so yeah. it's my favorite of the colors. Yeah, no, I'm on board with that. I'm, I'm fine with that. We'll just say that it is. It's a nice association. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it here. Yeah. I don't know if it's accurate. <laughs> I'm certain it's not. Question. 
Um, so what is your favorite thing about Bob and why the art of chill? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I, I, I could say what my favorite thing is about yeah. Bob. Um, I think, I mean, his personality and what he stood for as an individual, I think, and, and uh, his transferred formation through his life, I think is really uh, pretty wonderful because it shows somebody, I mean, you hear stories about how he was in the military when he was younger and he kind of left it all and decided to, to relax with life and uh, enjoy things in life and I really respect that. So I think that's my favorite thing about Bob. And then the other question was... Why the title Art of Chill? Well, it's, there's an art to chilling. It's hard. I personally don't really, truly know how to chill. I have and no chill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, this is the sitting this here is experience. the chillest I feel yeah, in general. In maybe in a month or yeah, so, Yeah, it's even. true. Yeah. 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 And so, like half of it is the ambiance of this yeah. painting. Yeah. We're just like, we're all like coming down for a landing right now, I feel like. like yeah. End of Gen Con. Yeah, and there's just like, well, and so much, like, people come in and play this game with us, and even, like, kids are coming in, and they're like, I just love to watch Bob because it's so peaceful. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like, people just use it to relax, and that's such a that's such a, a thing, you know? And our, our lives are so hectic and crazy, and this is just a, Bob is just a, a sanctuary for so many people. Yeah. And I think gaming is like that, too. Yeah. For a lot of people. Definitely. Well, the, and that was our intent. I mean, with this game, yeah. we really wanted to make it something where the experience felt it's relaxing and enjoyable. And yeah. yeah. I mean, it's competitive, but it's also like, yeah. you know, I mean, Ultimate Bob would probably be cooperative, but, but there, it's there, funny too. <laughs> there's moments in the game where it is competitive, but everybody can complete these features. And, and that was intentional. So we didn't mm -hmm. want people to feel um, any level of frustration. Like if, they're not blocked out. Exactly. Or, yeah. un unless Bob completes it first, then it's like the show, and then we got to go on to the next. Yeah. The show must go the on. The show must yeah. go on. <laughs> but anyway, that's kind of our philosophy. Yeah, and I like this is a game that if I had a normal grandma, I would say, I could play this with my grandma. Uh, <laughs> I have a very super hardcore gaming grandma who plays Robinson Crusoe, so. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so I'm She like, sounds cool, you should yeah. bring her by. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I I can't really imagine my grandmother playing this, but I play it, I play it with my family and with my kids, and yeah. it's good. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah, my grandma. I can not imagine that either. No. Personally. Yeah. Yeah. My grandma raised me playing Monopoly and uh, then, of course, games like Cribbage, and we got really competitive with each other. And then a couple months ago, she was just like, hey, so I've been playing a lot of Forbidden Island and Forbidden Desert with my gaming group. And I was like, weird, because I introduced her to Arboretum and Cottage Garden yeah. and a bunch of other games. And I. I did not expect her to go out and go get like gamey games from that's the hobby. That's great. Though. That's great. That's super so. cool. Is I, she? I mean, I, I want to know more about her gaming group too. Is it something where she is she creating this group? Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's in like a retirement home-ish thing in yeah. Olympia, awesome. and so she just got a bunch of people, and they have awesome gaming rooms. That's well, so cool. And you're, it, it's interesting those games that she's picking. Like we would think of those as like gateway games, right? Like right. they were like really broadly available, you know, at all the, the game stores, and and they're very accessible, like, mm -hmm. and that's what we tried to do with Bob, too, because yeah. because this was, for its first year, a Target exclusive, like, there's a lot of people there who aren't gamers, and they just happen to be walking by the game aisle, and this thing catches their eye. There's probably a lot of people out there who had never played a game like this, Yeah, and that Bob introduced them to it, so, so that's really good. Um, yeah. I might have to bring a copy of this to, to her little gaming group. Yeah, that, I bet she would like it. And actually, yeah, maybe some of the other games we have on the horizon with Big G, maybe they're in just yeah. Monster so Crunch or something. What yeah. are those things? <laughs> so, yeah. We have a few here yeah. at yeah. the show. Well, of course, um, yeah. happy little accidents. Um, but then um, we have a game called Monster Crunch with your favorite oh, that. Saturday morning Characters, yeah, you know. my or, favorite or your cereals. favorite cereal characters. Yeah, that, it's know. actually my favorite trick-taking game. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Awesome. No, we played it at my house not that long ago, and I was furious. Yeah, but like also overjoyed. Yeah, like 
I want to. I want to play it with you. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just really excited about the love that we can bring to Fruit Brute because I think he was just an underutilized character. Yeah. yeah. And now, now well, that and, mascot and has yummy a time mummy. And, yeah, yummy mummy. Oh, yummy you know, mummy. I mean, Count Chocula. Everybody's like, oh, Count Chocula is the best. But when we get back know. to Seattle, we should live stream us eating the cereals while playing the game. Yes. Us. Yeah. Here at Gen Con, the. Um, Big G was giving away a box of cereals. They, they teamed up with General Mills and gave away, like, I don't know, 150 boxes of cereal. Yeah. Like, with, if you bought the game, they were giving away. And they we did. had to go to the store to buy cereal I, this week. I know. <laughs> Actually, we, when we were working on the game, the cereal wasn't in season, so we couldn't even get it. So it was like yeah. we had to eat, like, you know, like Cheerios and stuff like that to be inspired <laughs> and put, like, regular marshmallows in them. We, oh my we also have, we have a couple more games here. Uh, we have a Brady Bunch game that is a really, really interesting uh, social deduction game where the mechanics in it, uh, you're, you're a character, you're one of the Bradys, so you're either playing as Alice or you're one of the Brady siblings, mm -hmm. and you're shifting in between being a troublemaker and a tattletale throughout the game, but what's interesting is your role is shifting the entire time. So it's something where you're trying to figure out with the cards that you have and the interactions where you're landing, and it's that's it's a great game. Awesome. Yeah, and then Home Alone. And then Home Alone. Yeah, Home which is Alone. coming out oh. this this winter. So you get to in Home Alone, it's uh, this is a play over Christmas game. It, hopefully yes. an annual play over Christmas. Like, yeah. The uh, I mean, you talk about the box. It's like it but looks like an ugly Christmas yeah. sweater. Like this box is all blinged out and it's crazy. And the game is asymmetric. So one of the players is going to play as Kevin, defending the house, and the other players are the wet bandits. And they're trying to come in and get the loot. I don't know if you've had a chance to play it, but it is. It's pretty choice. Yeah. I'll have to come try it. Yeah, yes, yeah. it's, it's exciting. It's always down to the wire too with that game. Yeah. All right. Oh. So let's take a look at our nearly final painting over here. That wow. is just so gorgeous. Stunning. Thank you. Thanks for letting me kind of play in the background here. Oh no, oh my we gosh. appreciate it. It's gorgeous. We did this in an hour. This is so like I guess. yeah. This is the yeah, about an hour. Yeah, an hour. So we are out of time today, okay. but thank, thank you. you so much for joining us, and thank you for painting. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. There's Peapod. Thanks Peapod? for having yeah. us as well. Oh, <laughs> Where? oh there's Peapod. Oh, there he's he is. right there. Oh, he's got the best spot. Yeah. What a view, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, thank right. you so much thank for having you. us on. Thank this you. was really a joy. Yes. And thanks, everybody. Uh,